In this video, we're talking about Bayesian estimation. In a prior video, we learned about how to combine prior information and our data to get what's called a posterior distribution. And I said all of Bayesian inference is based on that posterior distribution. So now we're going to do a little bit of Bayesian inference ourselves. We're going to do some point estimation. Um, so something to remember before we get started is that remember theta has an unknown distribution. It's a random variable, so it has a distribution. So if maybe this is its distribution, this is its PDF here, if we chose um, <coughs> maybe a value like over here, most people would probably agree this is not a great estimate for theta. But maybe if we chose something that's more in the middle, then we would say that's a better estimate for a theta. Um, so what we're trying to do is choose an estimator for theta that matches up with this distribution of theta. So that when we take what's called our loss, we're minimizing our expected loss. So when we take into account all the different values that theta takes on and average over all those values of theta, then we have minimized our expected loss. So loss is like a measure of how bad our estimator is. So if we chose a value like way out here, then we would say that's a pretty bad estimator for theta. The loss should be very high. We shouldn't be penalized a lot. But if we choose a value that's pretty good, like in the middle-ish here, then that would be a better estimator, and so the loss would be lower. Okay, so let's formally define what loss is. So first of all, let's say that theta is an estimator for theta based on some statistics. So maybe you decide that theta hat should be like the mean or the median or something like that. Then we would say that our loss function associated with theta hat is denoted by L of theta comma, sorry, L of theta hat comma theta, where the loss is always greater than or equal to zero and the loss is equal to zero when we choose our estimator, theta hat, to be exactly equal to theta. All right, so that's our loss function, and we said that when we're doing Bayesian estimation, we want to minimize the expected loss. So when we average all over all the values of theta, we've minimized our expected loss. Um, so let's think about what that would mean. So first, let's think about some common loss functions. One is theta hat minus theta squared. And another one is theta hat the distance between theta hat and theta. All right, so those are a couple loss functions. And now I'm going to give you a theorem, which you can prove or look at page 343 of Larson and Marks if you want it proven for you. Um, if we choose the square loss function, so the theta hat minus theta squared loss function, then the Bayes estimator is going to be the mean. And if we choose this second one as our loss function, the absolute value of theta hat minus theta, then our estimator is going to be the median.
So when I say the posterior mean or the posterior median, the posterior mean is the mean of the posterior distribution. The posterior median is the median of the posterior distribution.